I am so glad tonight yes. that I'm on the winning side. Amen. Yes. I'm on the winning side. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And I may need a couple of you to help me in a little while. And I think you will. Yeah, Appreciate you, sister. You. Thank you so much. Praise God. <laughs> Brother Kirk, would you open this for me, please? Yeah. First yeah. Timothy chapter six. Mm -hmm. First Timothy six. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's start with verse eleven. I appreciate that. I appreciate Listen to what Paul says in his letter to Timothy. He says, But thou, O man of God, flee these things. And he's talking about sorrows. And uh, in verse 10, he talks about the love of money being the root of all evil yes. and things like this. And uh, and in uh, on verse on down this little bit, well, verse 9, he's talking about riches and hurtful lust and different things like this. Verse 11 he says, But thou, O man of God, yes. flee these things, Amen. Yes. and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Verse 12. Uh -huh. Brother, here's where uh, I thought you were taking my message from. <laughs> Verse 12 says, Fight the good fight yes. of faith. Amen. Lay hold on eternal life Whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. We're in a fight for our life. Yes, amen. amen. Brother Jeff. Yes. We're not in a fight for riches. Amen. Uh, we're, we're, and right now, we're really not in a fight for freedom because freedom has already been fought for yes. and obtained for us. Yes. And not only freedom to worship and live the way we uh, can... Uh, can do the way that we do, but also Jesus has paid the price for our, our freedom in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So but Paul says to fight the good fight of faith and lay hold on eternal life. What, what the men and women, mainly men over the years, have fought for on the foreign battlefields <laughs> has been freedom for a, a natural, a natural freedom. Amen. A natural freedom. Yeah. But Jesus paid the price for our spiritual freedom that we can live forever. Yeah. But what the men and women have fought for yeah. is temporary. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah, it's temporary. Yeah. On, Thank God, yeah. though, for what they've yeah. done. Yes. Yes. When I was younger, I never thought a lot about uh, the wars and uh, the freedom, the price that was paid for our freedom uh, that we have today. I didn't think a lot about that in my younger years, Brother Jim. But when my father passed away, he was a veteran of foreign wars. He was in World War II. And they gave him a military service at the graveside. First one I was ever at was his that I can remember. And when I stood at that grave, and they began to have their little service, and they began to talk about the different flags and what they meant, brother, I began to see, get a different view of what, what our men had paid the price for. And I'm not uplifting men, but I thank God Amen. for what they've done. Amen. But I'm going somewhere with this. Amen. You hold on. You're doing good. You hold on. Hallelujah. I know it's not Veterans Day, and that's all right. I'm not going there. But you're going to see where, where the Lord's taking me with this. I got this message the other day at school. Yeah. I work at the school, and, and the, the teacher was showing, the history teacher was showing a clip of the Civil War. Yeah. And I noticed something, and something hit me, and I thought, man, what a message. Uh -huh. And I even, the teacher had stopped the clip, and I, I don't normally ever say anything, but I said, class, did you notice something? And I'm going to get to that in a little bit of what I asked them to notice. But what I'm saying today, I thank God for what they've done, the men and women have done, but I thank God for what Jesus has done Amen. because the price Amen. that He paid for our freedom yeah. is eternity. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Far more than what we're going to receive down here, but thank God for what we have here. And, and He said, But hold, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called and hast professed a good profession, before many witnesses, I want you to, to go down to verse 16, who only hath the immortality, dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man hath seen nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Go to 2 Timothy, a couple pages over, chapter 4. Well, no, start with chapter 2 right there. We'll get to 4 in a minute. And I want you to listen to something. 
And I wish I had this right here in my Bible. Kurt, do you have your glasses that you can see? <laughs> uh, how many have heard that? It may be right here. This might be it right here. I didn't plan this, but I thought, no, that's not it. But I may get to that just in a minute. I may, I may yes. Find that. I, I wish I wish it was, I wish I thought about that and stuck it in my Bible, but the Lord just brought that to my remembrance about something. But anyway, chapter two, verse one, thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Here's where I want to go. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, yeah. mm -hmm. that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. Oh. Oh. Who has called us into this army? Yes. Jesus. Do yeah. yeah. you remember years ago they used to have the billboards? I think there was one right there, right in the middle of town as you were going up where BNL used to be. And maybe right there in that little... Remember there used to be a big billboard set there years ago, if I'm not mistaken. And I, if I'm not mistaken, at one point, sometime back in a few years back, maybe when I was a lot younger, I remember seeing a billboard there or somewhere, but I want to think I saw it there too, that with that big hand that says, Uncle Sam wants you. You remember that? Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. I think we need to have a billboard somewhere that says, Jesus wants you. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. But I think about what the men and women have done on the front line of battle. I begin to think, Brother Jeff, that as Jesus carried the cross all the way up to Calvary, yeah, yes. Hallelujah! The Bible talks about him getting so far up and falling under the weight of the cross. Amen. But what did he do? Did he lay there and say, "I can't go any farther"? No. We get to a point sometimes we feel. 